I'm a huge fan of British fish, and one of the best ways to observe behaviour on a regular basis is to keep them in aquariums, and it's easier than you might think. One species I've always wanted to try is the European perch, so today I'm going to show you my setup for keeping perch. As with any UK fish, the bigger the tank the better, and I've got a 156 litre aquarium which I got off Facebook Marketplace. There's always a tank going cheap on there, never buy tanks brand new, there's always a big one cheap online if you know where to look. I add some aquarium plant substrate, this is to really help get the plants going and also put some natural looking rocks in. I'm trying to go for a natural feel with the tank, so no mini divers or Nemo in here. It pains me how expensive driftwood is, but it looks good in the tank and provides some hiding spots which perch love. You definitely want to give them an area to hide away. I use a little bit of aquarium sealant to stick the driftwood together so it doesn't tumble over and then add some silver sand and a few more rocks to kind of finish it off. In terms of plants, they aren't too fussy, but I've gone for a mixture of leafy ones and strandy ones. <laughs> Not sure on the species, but it looks good. With perch being predatory, they're unlikely to rip these plants up. Adding the water in, I've mostly used tap water and then added some pond water to add bacteria into the tank to help cycle it. And we'll wait a few weeks before adding fish. I've got a fluvel, that's how you say it, filter, and a bubble stone, which I use when the temperature is above 20 Celsius, and no heater of course. One of the things loads of people mentioned to me was perch need a cooler, but so far I've had them up to 25 degrees Celsius in the tank and been fine, though any more than this and they'd struggle, so if they're in a room that is likely to get hot, it's best to have a cooler. It's tempting to put loads in the tank, but I've gone with four. They are a shoalfish, so need a few together, but you also don't want to overstock the tank. To be honest, these are a little bit bigger than I would have liked, about four or five inches, but couldn't catch anything any smaller. I'd also recommend getting the fish around about the same size, as bigger perch might make a meal of the smaller ones, so I'm keeping an eye on the little guy in this tank. One of the things that really surprised me was how quickly they became tame. In less than a week, they knew that the food was coming in around about half four and they would wait for me to drop it in. They even nibble my finger, man-eating perch. Ow! On the subject of food, what do I feed them? As I'm sure you're all expecting me to drop goldfish in now. It has to be meat, they are carnivorous. So far, a mixture of worms out of the garden, leftover maggots from fishing, some pond invertebrates that I didn't want in the pond, and even prawns make up the diet which they love. I'd suggest in the summer feeding every other day, as they'll have eyes bigger than their bellies and can often throw it back up if they overfeed, particularly if one perch is more dominant than the others. And that's it. So far, they've been really simple to look after. They make great additions to my menagerie of UK animals. One point I will make is that these perch are not going to be permanent in this tank. I will eventually release them back to where I caught them, as perch can grow up to five pounds in Britain, but they'll get stunted in the tank if I keep them for long periods. I may end up keeping one of the smaller ones in my pond. I'd also encourage you to check out Perch Aquarium on Instagram who really helped me out with this and has some great content. I have to admit, watching these perch has almost put me off perch fishing. They're so intelligent fish, watching my every move while I'm in the office. For future species, I'm tempted to maybe get a little pike or maybe even a zander. What do you think I should put in the tank after the perch? Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and chuck us a comment down below. Cheers.